Welcome to Let's Rap. I am Derek Carm, your host, and I have my lovely ladies again with me, of course, Lisa Crutcher Thurman, <laughs> Ebony Ingram Jones. Um, what's up, ladies? Y'all good? Real good. Real good? Y'all look so good? So thankful. Well, thank you, me too. Right well, you know. Yeah, yes, as God. God. You better. I know That's it's it. true. That's all I can do. And wait on it. And, and we're asking and wait. Now. That's a good one. We're going to have to use that one time. <laughs> be the next show, mm-hmm. Waiting on God. Absolutely. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> That's just about like a book you need to start writing. Oh, mm-hmm. I've been praying over that. Yeah, you get on that. I am. Okay. So, <laughs> what are we going to talk about today? Uh, again, Let's Rap is a show designed for anyone. We are teaching practical principles on how to just live life at its best. And just for your better, your well-being, and to add that spiritual aspect to it so that you know that Christ can help you through anything. Oh, yes. And so, what we do, we talk about a topic, and then we say, let's rap. Mm-hmm. So, today, we're going to talk about protecting your peace. Mm-hmm. How you feel about that? Mm-hmm. Ah, let's rap. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. jump in. So, when I think of protecting my peace, well, what do you think? When, when I say that you do whatever you can do to protect your peace. What do you think it means? What does it mean to you? Um, <clears throat> I think it means um, to stop majoring in the minors. There you go. Um, I like that it. means I, like that. I am only dealing with what I absolutely must have yes. to deal with mm-hmm. yeah. because otherwise I put my peace in a compromising situation, yes. and I cannot afford to lose my peace. All right. Because if I lose my peace, then I didn't lost my credibility as a Christian. Absolutely. There goes oh, my yes. witness. There you go. It's so, true. Um, that's wow. what I think protecting the peace is. We, wow. um, the women's ministry here at church, um, read a book. Um, what is exponential living? Yes. But her website, the author's name is Sherry Riley. Her website is literally peaceisthenewsuccess.com. Wow. And she talks about how she was this very, very successful um, person in the music industry. Like Usher wrote the forward to her book. Okay. And she was talking about how she was so successful, but didn't have any peace. Wow. Wow. And she walked away from it. Yes. To do her own thing. To seek out what the Lord had made her Mm -hmm. to do. She, uh, um, because a subtitle was like, stop spending 100% of your time on 10% 10% of who you are. Oh, wow. That's, that's Doing that, you'll lose all your peace. Yeah. That's true. Because the cart is before the horse. Mm-hmm. You are not being efficient yeah. in using your time wisely, and it messes up your peace. So I think that's what, for me, um, being successful means that I am making the main thing the main thing, keeping it that way, and not allowing other outside influences to um, bombard me and take away my peace. Wow, we can just end the well, show right now. Right that's a whole <laughs> lot. Me. Oh, yeah, cool. that's that. But I mean, that was, that was very it. insightful. I mean, that's real. And just to add to that, I, it makes me think about a lot of people with their peace. Stop looking for happiness in the same place mm-hmm. you lost it. Ooh, <laughs> <just> stop, <laughs> ouch. stop it. <laughs> just Say stop it. it. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Whether it be in a situation, mm-hmm. whether it be in a relationship, whether it's in a friendship, Addiction. whatever it is, just stop it. Yeah. Addiction. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Huge. Stop looking for your happiness mm-hmm. in the same place you lost it. Wow. It's not going to happen. Wow. That's insanity. Lisa, what does that mean to you? What's Protecting the, your peace. Protecting my peace? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Drama free. Mm-hmm. Save the drama for your mama. I'm not interested. <laughs> I mean, really. Yeah. And it's a lot of petty nonsense. Mm-hmm. You know, you got a real concern, uh, need, or, you know, I'm more than willing to do what I can to help you. We can pray together. Mm-hmm. We can take the necessary steps. But the drama yeah. and the nonsense, and again, you got to figure out. Is that for you? Yeah. Somebody come bring you something? <laughs> that ain't even for me. Get my name on it. Yeah, it had nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested. And <laughs> and the key to that, what that makes me think about is our key in our life, if we want to protect our peace, you have to learn how to, when to absorb and observe. Correct. <laughs> Everything ooh, you don't let in ooh. here. Yeah. Everything you don't let in here, I'm just going to observe that. But then that, oh, that was good. I'm going to absorb that. that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's up to you. Either mm-hmm. you're going to observe or you're going to absorb. You know, I put that <laughs> my key word finder. I got yeah. to put that so, there. So, I mean, that is just really protecting your peace oh, at yes. all costs. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, one thing, a couple of things that I kind of put down to think about 
uh, when protecting your peace that we don't do, number one, identify what triggers you. Oh, yeah. Now, sometimes yeah. we yeah. don't do that. But if you already know something that's going to bother Absolutely. you. Or somebody. So why even go there? Right. Disengage yeah. is mm -hmm. the word. Instantly. Disengage. If they, you see them coming, <laughs> you know what? Hi. How you doing? Walk away. Praise the Keep Lord. it why? moving. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why do we do that? Right. It's like we are our own worst enemies mm -hmm. sometimes. That's yeah, true. If you know your trigger, whether it be a person, a situation, a circumstance, something that's coming up, you know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So guess what? No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Disengage. It's and over. good thing about God, he'll give you something else to do. Oh, oh yeah. He's the always got to ram in the bush. find a way of escape mm -hmm. for you if you want it. Now. I just said that. Now. Sunday. It will be a way of escape if you, if want, you it. want it. If you want it. Now. It's mm -hmm. always going to be a way of escape because that's who God is. Mm -hmm. Ram in the bush. Uh, this is something that I feel like we don't do and then sometimes we do uh, do it uh, and just don't realize we're doing it. Um, create a safe space. Mm -hmm. Whether it be a home. You know, intentionally mm -hmm. yeah. create a room. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Griff talks about a prayer closet. I need to do that. Create a room. Create somewhere in your home where it's safe. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when you said that, I don't know if it's going to be one of the points or not, but a person like yes, but I know yes. Jim, Mom Rosie. I'm ringing her phone. If I'm upset, yes. something's going down. I'm calling Mama Rosie because yep. mm -hmm. she is a constant, steady. You know, and you know. One, you need to contact somebody that's godly, that's going Absolutely. to give you yes. some godly advice. Might not be, won't you want to hear? Because you ready to go do some, mm, yeah. some stuff that ain't of God. Yeah. And certain people you can call, oh, I'm going with you. And we're going to do this, this, and add something to it. But you call someone, uh, get in touch with someone who is godly, that's going to be a Absolutely. sound mind and a good voice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Another thing that we have to do is set boundaries mm. set healthy boundaries that's true um and sometimes as christians that's hard to do because we feel like in order for us to be closer to god we can't say no mm. we we can't say no especially to the church mm -hmm. can't say no to something coming up just people we just find mm -hmm. ourselves in a uh, just a windfall of mm -hmm. foolishness, just stuff. No and then you reason. have no time for you mm -hmm. and you just going. Mm -hmm. But what are you really doing? Mm -hmm. So uh, when I say boundaries, that's family, that's yeah. everything. Yeah. You know, somebody yeah. keeps asking you, it's fine to help people, but you have got to find something for yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to do some things for yourself. And there is health in no. Mm. There is some answers in no. Mm -hmm. it's, and that's a whole it's explanation. It's, that it's one no word. Freedom mm -hmm. in no. Mm -hmm. um, you have to do that, if nothing else, for yourself. Mm -hmm. To have some peace. Sometimes and you got to say no. Yeah, to no is not a cuss word. It's not. It's, it's complete sentence. Not. It's a, <laughs> and it's a complete sentence. Yes, ma'am. You are right about that. Yeah. And so. that's wonderful, but no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with saying it. I mean, try it. No. <laughs> Just try it, because a lot of times you have got to create mm -hmm. healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, one thing, another one is um, get off social media. Ooh. Spend some time off social media. And, and don't get me wrong. Hey, social media is not bad. I'm not going to say that. Mm -hmm. It can be misconstrued, mm -hmm. and it can be used for bad. But all, all in all, it's really not bad. It mm -hmm. wasn't designed for that purpose. Correct. You know, and I think it is still good because you get to see people, especially mm -hmm. during this pandemic. Yeah. It helps you keep up with people. So it can be cool. But what you can't get caught up in is what people got, mm -hmm. what they showing, you know. And I, 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 I don't remember the pastor that came here a long time ago. And no, no, it was T.D. Jakes. I'm sorry. T.D. Jakes. And he talked about how we get so caught up in those pictures and some people look perfect. Mm -hmm. But we ain't looked at the 50 pictures they took before they got to that perfect <laughs> right. point. And it's just life. It is. You know, it's it life. Is. You look at somebody's phone. Yeah. And, and look at my phone. Before I post anything I've taken, mm -hmm. I know, 25 mm -hmm. before I got to that one mm -hmm. that I'm okay with. But that's how people see. Think mm -hmm. about it. Right. All you see is the perfection. The best. The one. The uh -huh. best of the best. The best of the uh -huh. best. But mm -hmm. you don't see all the the mess ups, yeah. the eyes closed, the road, the, the lip mm -hmm. moving. And you don't see that. And it's just like our lives. Exactly. You don't see the mistakes mm -hmm. all the time. You don't see those idiosyncrasies, mm -hmm. those things that are inside us that we don't even like about ourselves. Mm -hmm. All you see is right. 
the perfection. The bling. Right. Mm -hmm. the bling. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I, at the beginning of this semester, I got off social media. And like you said, it's not because social media is so bad. Social media is all right with me. Like yeah. you said, you get to see people's big mama's birthday party. Oh, yeah. yeah. When somebody got a new car, you get to see yes. it. Or somebody got so their haircut. Well. Yes. You know, it's wonderful. I was, though, um, using it as just like if I wasn't doing something, I was on social media. And it, it was eating up my time. Yes. I like to read because I like social media just like pictures and stuff. But I also like social media for news. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am a big news reader. A lot of people watch the news. I want to read my news. Like mm -hmm. if I could get a newspaper every day, I want to read my news. Okay. And I was getting caught up. Yep. And reading the news, which does what? Messes with your peace. Yeah. Yes, it does. Because especially locally, like things uh, yeah. that are happening locally. Yeah. Um, if I see what's going on in the city with the mayor and the school board, my blood pressure's up. Yeah. Because I want to tell these people and don't they know and what is wrong with these people <laughs> and how are they going to let this right. city do this? Right. And I can't control not one flick of that. Not mm -hmm. at all. And my peace is all over the place yeah. because I just had to know. And so I've had to, like you mm -hmm. said, set boundaries, yeah. boundaries, step away from social Absolutely. media and let it serve you. Don't you become a servant to it. Okay. And that's what I was doing, I believe. You know what killed me with social media? And even though that I did give it up for Lent, but what killed me for social media is when they start, my phone starts sending me reports oh. of time weekly. That's what I was gets like, you. What? I'm spending. That's one one thing that got me. I got my what? report. It said you had 24 hours of screen time. What in a week? I said, what? If, that's what is awful. going on? What am Absolutely. I doing? Absolutely. And that and that just it just further shows you what you're doing with your time. Mm -hmm. And you know, even mm -hmm. though I've given up for Lent. I still find myself when I'm not doing nothing. I grab, oh, go, yep, uh -huh. grab my hand, then I okay. instantly go to the Bible mm -hmm. and try to go pull a verse. And that's what I've been trying to do because you have you spend time with what you love. Mm -hmm. That's it. So what do you love? You know, social media is not bad. It's fine to do, but I love the Lord mm -hmm. and that's I really right. want a better relationship right. with Him. So that's what I did, you know, to try to get closer to Him. So social media, get off social media. And another one. <laughs> Create, I mean, I'm sorry, not creative safe, so I was going to read that again. Find your creative side. Mm. Find out what you're good at. Find out something that you didn't know about yourself. And that is good for getting peace. Yeah. Yeah. Because find out what comes naturally yeah. to you and mm -hmm. then do it and then work on it. Yeah. Sharpen your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, some people, I know a good friend of mine, he can draw. He hasn't drawn in years. Mm -hmm. Draw, boy. Yeah. Yeah. My mother, she, um, cause she's retired now, mm -hmm. but she watches a little girl, and she has rediscovered her love for puzzles. See, yeah, wow. yeah. and it makes her so peaceful and happy. Yes. and but it speaks to her brain. She yeah. loves mm -hmm. vivid colors. She found some daggone puzzle on Facebook or something, and the puzzle pieces are like little shapes like butterflies and giraffes and oh, stars. Wow. And she, you would have thought she was five years old, the way that she called me, Yay. telling me about wow. how this beautiful puzzle has brought her so much joy and peace See? in her life. And a pu puzzle could be mm -hmm. your hobby. You, right. Like you said, drawing can, yeah. um, strengthens your creativity, singing. Yes. yes, whatever you do. All those things can be very peaceful yes. for you. Journaling, I know you said that yes. you journal a yes. lot. Yes. Yes. That can be a up. space of peace for people. So when you journal, Lisa, how does that, I mean, is that is that an outlet for you? Yes, and actually, when I was doing the Louisville Writing Project, that was one of the things we, every day when we went in, we just had to start journaling. And just whatever come to your mind. And could be a poem you're putting together or something that's going on in your life or a list, anything. Just get the pencil moving. And I really, and you know, when you said, what, and I had to put in my cool word finder, well, that's what we called it. You hear something cool, you got to write it down, mm -hmm. but you need to revisit it later awesome. and yeah. expand on it and see how it touches you now. Because what you said it here, time I get home and think about it day after tomorrow, Something else may have come right. to me, and you right. can really branch off, and I really I like enjoy that. that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. So then this one is what I'm doing right now and what we're doing. Surround yourself with people and things you love mm -hmm. and that 
serve you. Mm -hmm. um, and when, you know, some people misconstrue serving. Mm -hmm. In this particular context and when people are serving, it's not so much as what somebody physically does for you. It's sometimes emotionally. Mm -hmm. sometimes That's true. Sometimes it's, you know, spiritually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like Ebony said earlier our, in our, our last show, uh, how you can just be with somebody. I be around somebody. Mm -hmm. I like when we was in the choir stand. Our before we even get to choir, we in rehearsal, mm -hmm. and she walks in. I know something's wrong. Cause she walk in. I know she's. Oh, it's gonna be fun today. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's. Cause she already got right. attitude. She not on her phone. That's. Oh, mm -hmm. y'all about to she turn her up. She thinks she's cute she today. She thinks she's cute. Yeah. She's matching today. <laughs> oh Lord, we not gonna get nothing right. out of her. So you know, it is just. It's just. Fun, you know, get surround yourself with those people. And, you know, that's why I miss the choir so much. I miss Me the church too. so much. I miss that fellowship. I miss that camaraderie. Um, Cause it's just something about worshiping God mm -hmm. and blessing God, and then you blessing Him with your people yes. that you love. But then it's also something about going through, mm -hmm. and somebody's there to oh, cheer yes. you on, Thank you, Lord. to lift you up, to encourage mm -hmm. you. And that's why choirs and family and church family is so important. important. It's so important. And don't take that for granted. Yeah. No. And I think they, I'm so glad you said that because those Christian connections, mm -hmm. those fellowships, your your family, your church family serves um, in, as, a, as conduits of his peace Absolutely. that's going to mm -hmm. surpass all understanding. Absolutely. Yes, so when yes. you look back over something, you say, my God, how did I survive that? How did you give me a piece that I can't right. understand? <laughs> but when you think about it, you know what? I went to choir rehearsal that one mm -hmm. day. Yep. Derek gave me a bear hug and told me I was this or that. Or yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They pray for me. Oh, yes. So the joke or sent okay. me a, Miss Lisa sends all these texts. A lot of them. These gifts, a lot of them. And they yeah. glitter and they glow. Oh, yes. and they, where does she get them? I don't know where she gets them. <laughs> I don't know, right. but she's got them. Yeah. She's got them, and she sends them. But guess what? Those types of things, mm -hmm. peaceful. They yep. are. They can help to give people <coughs> peace, bring people just mm -hmm. a little piece of peace. Mm -hmm. And once you put it all together, oh, that's how I was able to yes, keep my yes, life. Yes, Absolutely. yes. So, mm. That's why I said I Sunday school so much, because you know, yeah. and. I'm in uh, cafe, coffee cafe in Christ, mm -hmm. and up uh, we're up in the Family Life Center, second floor. So there are tables, oh, and yeah. we don't have assigned seats. But every week we go to the <laughs> same one. You know, you're gonna sit with those same people, and then you know, branch out and pass the love to others. But those people are family. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see them every Sunday. They're gonna pray for you. And they know what's going on, and I miss that in my Sunday school mm -hmm. class so much. Yeah, absolutely. But we'll so get back. We will get back, and then this is another one. Oh, let go. Did I already say that? Let go of anything Ooh, that's, that's not one. serving you or your life positively. Mm. Let it go. Mm. You know, and identify. So this starts with identify your triggers. And then letting it go. That's the other step to that. It, is, it don't it do no good to identify right. if you're going to hold on to it. And just identify it again. Mm -hmm. Identify it and let it go. Let it go. Yeah, if it's not serving you, mm -hmm. if something's not bringing peace to your life, if something's not, if you already feel some type of way about it, it's probably mm -hmm. not peaceful. Yeah. You know, it's probably not. You know? And then seek God to ask, what would you have me to do Absolutely. instead? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If I had to do that, you get always, some, He will yeah. always give you an escape. Mm -hmm. Always. Yes. And sometimes you don't know what to do. And that's when you be honest and say, God, it's not my strength. I have no Right, mm -hmm. right. You know, <laughs> in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. Yes. That's what the word says. Mm -hmm. Thank so you, Lord. We know that. So you can be vulnerable. You can be, you know, God, I can't do it. I need you to do it. But mm -hmm. I need you to help me let go. Sometimes it's a person. You yes. got to let some people mm -hmm. go. Yes. It, and then another thing that I know of Christians that I have to learn that the older I've gotten, it is not my job to make sure you're comfortable with me. At this point, I don't care. Mm -hmm. If I'm not hurting you right. or if it's nothing I've done to you, mm -hmm. it's not my responsibility any longer to make sure that you're comfortable with who I am mm -hmm. and what. No, I don't care anymore. That can, right. mess, that can mess up your peace. Oh, it will. It will. <laughs> it yeah. will. Worrying yeah. about what people think about you and not being your true authentic mm -hmm. self will mess some stuff up. Mm -hmm. It oh, will yes. really mess you up. It will make you forget who you really are mm -hmm. and what God has really called you to do. Mm -hmm. It will make you forget something. I mean, and I'm not saying it's our church. It's nothing against right. our church. I'm just talking about you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Superseding Lisa Day. 
uh, <laughs> for Women's Day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. You yeah. know, that's a lot of pressure. And for it you is. to be young, yeah. and, yes. you know, I'm pretty sure it, even before you got to people, what was your thoughts of that? You know, how did you overcome, you know, just... Um, it, growing up in this church, I have just gotten to the conclusion that I'm always going to be a little girl. No. Okay. <laughs> and I cannot, and I'm almost 40 years old. I have two children. I have been on my own right. for years, <laughs> and look. I'm just going to be a little girl. And that's not a necessarily a bad thing. Right. Okay. And I protect my peace by not taking offense to okay. it. Okay. People see me as, oh, that's just little Ebony. You ain't, she thinks she's Lisa Day, but not really. She's okay. just little Ebony. And I don't take offense to that. Um, and I keep my peace because I say, you know, they're saying that because Reverend Lisa did an awesome, awesome job, job. Yes. for many years. Right. Yes. And I ain't Reverend Lisa. Right. But this is the opportunity for me to draw from her what she did, yes. how she did it, to improve upon it Absolutely. and move it from there. So I don't let I don't necessarily let that get. Because I know who I'm just going to be. So, let me tell you why I asked that. Because okay. this goes with, because I'm really intentional. So this goes with our last show, and we talked about brands. Uh -huh. okay. So this okay. is what, this is another part of your brand. Because no matter how much I mess with you, mm -hmm. no matter how much I tease you, you never let me get to you. No, honey, and no. And that's Amen. what I see you do in okay. the same instance. Yeah. So that's why I brought that up. Because okay. Okay. for you to be who you are. And to be your age and to be young, that's why you are an overcomer. Well, because you, you have a strength yes. that I wish I could embody like you do. Well, thank because you. Because you, hey, never let them see you sweat. Yeah. I mean, because I know I didn't mess with you mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. And you are just cool with it. Well, and, and the thing is, I want y'all to understand that I'm not always. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I know that. On the inside. I know okay. okay. But um, <laughs> I think a lot of you all know that I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Oh, yes. And we have a, um, a mantra right. that we live by. Let those words, let those actions be like water off a duck's back. That's what's up. And shake it off. That's what's up. And okay. that's how you gotta under, that's how you gotta approach things. Okay. That's how you're gonna keep your peace. Okay. You cannot take in, you can't absorb everything. Okay, you okay. Can. Not your job. You won't have the peace that you need to make it. You won't have the peace to stay, they gonna send you a letter and tell you not to come back to church because you don't know how okay. to act. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has set you off. So yeah, I think. Thank you for that. Thank I, I'm, you. I'm thank so you for serious. That, yes. I'm so serious because mm -hmm. I know that is a hard shoe to feel. We do not play about our annual days around here. <laughs> no. We do not play about Women's Day, uh -uh. Men's Day, and it's an honor to do something mm -hmm. like that. It but is. in the same sense, you have done it. Yes, you are doing it wonderful. You are doing a great job. <laughs> now, y'all write this down because this might not happen again. Ever. But you are doing a great job, <laughs> and you just keep being you, and I just love the way you stand up there. You, you tell us what's coming up, and it's just a pleasure to see someone young, fresh, and exciting, and to continue to carry the torch of what it's already been great. She does now it you're so. Making it greater. Well, so it's, it's, <coughs> she it's does it so excellent. I mean, yeah, and she just smells like it's nothing. Like <laughs> yeah. one off the ducks back. Come on, Deltas, y'all. They yeah. gotta taught us something. Man. Okay. Uh, well, we appreciate you joining us today. Uh, this, uh, I, I pray that this show has yes. really blessed. It, it blesses me every week. Every week. And um, it is so important to protect your peace mm -hmm. and uh, the peace of God, which surpasses all oh, understanding. Yes. We know that. Mm -hmm. And yes. that's what you should ask for. And when you pray in your prayer life, if something is taken away from your peace, yes. ask God to remove yes. it. Remove it. Yes. Take it ask away. Him to remove it. Yes. I'm promising you. Five leases from better. the West. Yes. Ask him to remove it. Mm -hmm. So let us pray. God, thank you for this day. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your eternal love. Yes, thank you for thank your you goodness God. and your mercy. Thank you, God, that you took our place, God, and you oh, just keep blessing us. God, I cannot thank you enough for my beautiful yes. sister, Ebony, and, bless and her, all God. that she bless does. Her, I ask God. that you continue to bless her going yes. in and her coming out and bless yes. everything that she touches. Yes. Continue thank to touch you, our women's ministry here at this yes. church. Thank you, bless Lord. her to lead it accordingly as you would call her to do. Yes. Bless her to be creative in her Help actions her, because yes. you are the creator. Yes. God, thank you for Lisa thank and all you, that she Lord. is and all that she does and all that she brings to this show, to our lives, the laughter and just everything that she thank is you, and i don't even think she realizes mm -hmm. sometimes yeah. god so thank, thank you for lord. just letting her be her authentic mm -hmm. best self thank god you, thank lord. you for your goodness that you showed us all 
individually and collectively. Thank you for anybody that under the sound of my voice is watching us, that has looked up, that's watching us through Facebook or any of the platforms, YouTube, wherever you're catching the show, please share it. Thank you for all your goodness and your mercy. Bless them to be blessed and keep them, God. In Christ Jesus' name, we'll be forever careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. God, teach us how to protect our peace at all costs. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. And it's all these things this day. Amen. Amen and amen.